Adam, I sight cast the one. Steve. Today I'm out here cobia fishing from my kayak. We're gonna try several styles of fishing. I'm gonna try to throw bait on bottom, try to float bait. I'm gonna try to catch a live bait. And I also have a sight fishing set up in case I see a cobia on the surface. It's just a bucktail with a plastic eel. So this is definitely a different style of fishing than I usually do from the kayak. There's a potential to catch all kinds of fish doing this. But the main goal is cobia. We are definitely targeting cobia. This is my first cobia trip of the year, so you never know if you're gonna catch one. We actually have an unusually calm day as far as the wind and the water goes, so we gotta take advantage of it. So if you enjoy this video and you wanna see more cobia fishing, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. My name is Houston and this is Buford SC Fishing. Got something, hopefully some usable bait. Yeah, of course it's not. It's a black sea bass. Can't keep them. Could be another black sea bass. Yep, I knew it. Be a great bait right there. Sea bass. Can't keep them. Here, if you got an That's ice huge. Hold on. Yeah. If you got an ice bag. I want to measure that. Well, measure that bad boy. Don't drop it. Put me on that's TV. A, that's over 20 inches. Put me on TV. That's a big trout. Where'd you catch this at? In the grass on the point. What Slightly is it, over 20? 20. Yeah. Basically 20 incher. That's a nice trout. What was <laughs> 20. Right at 20, really. A little bit over 20. A little bit over 20. I'm going to say like 26. Yeah. <laughs> I offer a kayak fishing guide service where I'll take you to where the fish are, show you how to catch them. I plan everything with the tide and weather to make the best trip possible. You can either bring your own kayak if you have one, and if you don't, I can provide one of these Hobie Outback pedal kayaks. So if a guided kayak fishing trip with me sounds like something you might be interested in, please send me an email on my email on the screen right now. I might have got off. Or it's small. Oh, it's on there. Stingray. So here is the eel type lure that I'm using. Six inch. Okay, this is a white bucktail jig. It's a three quarter ounce. I'm just putting the, the eel plastic on there. Just like that. And this is a 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. In about three and a half foot, 20 pound braided line on an ugly stick rod and the 3,000 size spinning reel. Steve, there's something over here. There's another one. Yeah. Where'd he go? I saw him. He came after it. Start looking around out here. I saw one. I saw one. Kobe, I chased my lure. Got him. I sight casted one. 
teeth. That's awesome. No way. other lines out. That's one of the problems I'm going to have. I just sight casted one. This is uh, my lightest setup that I have out here. 20 pound braid. This is my first sight casted cobia ever. It's not a giant or anything. Saw him swimming right at me. Threw the lure right in his face. He started chasing it. Not a giant, but it's a cobia. I got lines out. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. If I hand you like this rod, can you just reel it in for me? Can you reel this in? Cause if not, I don't know what I'm, how I'm gonna net this. Actually, let me see. Let's get this rod out of the way. Watch that line, you're running into it. First one of the year, and it was a sight cast. Oh my god, this is the same as last year where I have a hard time landing it. Okay, come on. Come on. It's a hard fighting fish. In the neck. Oh. Reel this line in real quick. Not a giant one, but it's definitely not a keeper. Well, it wouldn't be a keeper anyways, I guess. I lost my lure too. That's a like a three quarter ounce bucktail jig. I had an eel lure on it. Oh, there's my there's my lure right there. It's like a six inch eel thing.
It's only like 29 to the fork. Oh, dang it. Trying to get one, at least one good shot for my camera. My first cobia on an artificial and I sight casted it. Not a giant, but that's what we're fishing for. Sight fished cobia, my first one on an artificial. Okay, here we go. Time to let them go. Kind of, kind of let them swim away. There we go. wake like a like you're sight fishing a redfish wake coming right at me i stood up saw the f actual fish threw it up past him i mean got lucky got got the lure right in his face he chased it down i mean i watched him chase after it eat it set the hook it was awesome i turned the camera on i had this on a three quarter ounce buck bucktail yep just a, it's like a six inch eel on a bucktail that was cool. Get this rod back. That was really cool. I'm on the water multiple days a week and not every single day ends up in a YouTube video. So I'm gonna start writing fishing reports for every day that I'm out here fishing. Uh, those fishing reports are gonna be available exclusively to Patreon members. So if you're interested in my fishing reports, I'll have a Patreon link on the screen right now. You can also go find it in the description of this video. Signing up on Patreon is the best way to support this channel. Okay, that was definitely an exciting day of fishing. I was just sitting there with baits on bottom and I turned the camera on as soon as I saw the cobia. I was able to sight fish it and just watch them eat the lure, watch them chase the lure. Uh, even though that's like the smallest cobia I've ever caught, that was like the most exciting way to catch one. Please don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.